together. Michelle joining us now, and you are tracking some pretty heavy fog in some parts of the state right now. Yeah, it shouldn't last all morning long. I expect now that the sun is up that that fog will slowly start to thin out, but it's thick in spots this morning. The radar pretty quiet across the mainland. We do have some showers and thunderstorms offshore, but across Rhode Island and southeastern Mass, other than the fog and the mist, it's a quiet start to the day. We've got this uh, warming trend now underway. The temperatures today should be close to an average high, maybe still a few degrees below it as we head into the uh, rest of the work week. Friday and the weekend, we are looking at a return to that summer-like air. I, we still have a few more showers and thunderstorms to get through. I think we'll see a few pop up today and maybe an isolated strong thunderstorm tomorrow. It'll be followed up by a pretty good-looking weekend and all those uh, outdoor activities this weekend. There it go. Do want to say, though, there is a chance for a shower or an isolated thunderstorm Saturday night. But again, I don't think it'll affect much of your weekend. The view here from the city camp. All shrouded in fog this morning, 54 degrees, your temperature, calm winds, high humidity, and that saturated ground from yesterday's passing showers and storms leading to that fog. We've got a temperature of 48 degrees in Smithfield right now, about 54 in Providence, mid-50s in Newport, and your temperature in westerly this morning coming in at about 56 degrees. In terms of the visibility, we're down to about a tenth of a mile in Providence. Uh, under that for Smithfield and in Westerly. And we've been sort of in and out of some patchy fog on Aquidneck Island, New Bedford at only a quarter mile visibility right now. Taking a look at the morning, I expect that the fog may still be in spots at 7 a.m. Starting to thin out. We'll get back to that mix of sun and clouds late morning with temperatures warming up into the 60s. And then this afternoon, we're looking at highs in the 70s today for most of us. Notice though on the future cast, still showing these spotty green showers here, both rain showers as well as an isolated thunderstorm possible during the afternoon and early evening, followed up by partly cloudy, drier air moving in on Friday night uh, for tonight into Friday morning. And we'll start off the day with some sunshine on Friday. Once again in the afternoon, we'll have to watch for an isolated shower or thunderstorm to develop. Down to the south coast for this afternoon, about 69, Charlestown 73, Hope Valley 73 in Coventry. Mixture of sunshine and clouds. It's definitely not a washout today, but keep an eye to the sky for changing weather conditions. About 72, Burrowville and Foster Center. And I have us in the low 70s, New Bedford, Fall River. Forecasting your high Seekonk around 73 and about 68 in Middletown. So if you want to head to the beaches, we're going to start off with the fog. We should see some sunshine and again a passing shower or a thunderstorm. A safe sun time still is around. 30 minutes. Here's that seven day future cast for you. Up to about 79 for tomorrow with that isolated thunderstorm. Again, the weekend looking mostly sunny during the daylight hours. The clouds and the showers right now looking to time out as Saturday night. Let's go over to Bob Hanna. Another